Yo, 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 Tanatsu here with part two of Amnesia the Dark Descent. I'm in the laboratory right now because we gotta mix up the chemicals, which I assume is done by going to the laboratory and finding like a chemical mixer set place, possibly in this room. I can't remember where we actually picked up the jar. I feel like, I feel like this looks like the room I should be mixing chemicals. Right? Right? Can I? Let's just. I'm here? Chemicals must be prepared using the appropriate apparatus. 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 Yeah, see, I, I don't really know what that means. Like, you know what I. Like, I, I get it. I, I get it. Oh, 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 okay. Four different chemicals are needed to continue. Yes, I think I'm understanding. Whoa. I got it. We are in the clear now. Hopefully, it does not matter where I'm putting these in. Because if it, if I'm starting to think it, it, it might actually matter what order I'm putting it in. Oh gosh. Because if, if it does matter, I lost. Did it? Did the cave collapse on us again? Hold on. Let me. What's the flashlight button there? F. That's right. Let's read what I just wrote. The stairs have collapsed. Find a way to b b climb back up. Uh, it's kind of funny. I didn't notice the stairs collapsed at all until the the, the little <laughs> note told me. Thank you, Daniel. I'm glad you're able to make notes for your, for me, actually, for yourself and me. This is what's worrying me the most. It's not breathing anymore, and there's a little trail of blood. Hmm. Well, let's go back to mixing chemicals. I think that's that's what we really need to put our minds to right now and I don't want to be wasting the lantern sorry I'm I, I'm trying to take in the atmosphere I'm terrified right now okay what do we do what do we do do I just can I take this and then put that here mix oh yes let me uh let me just twirl this around. There we go! Wow! I'm a master uh, alchemist. Check this out. Uh. Oh, oh. It might. I really hope there's that there's no wrong way to do this. <laughs> because I am I am I am I am just going for it. I'm using my intuition and my gut instinct. I'm turning those knobs like my life depends on it. Because it probably does. Picked up a pot of acid. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was I was about I was really excited to, to go and burn down the weird substance. But now I'm reminded that I have no idea how to actually climb up. Can I just can I parkour? I might be able to do it. I might be able to pull the parkour. Ugh. I'm, I'm losing- I'm losing, uh, faith into my- <laughs> into my parkour skills. It looks like that is not the way up here. I'm gonna have to find another- Maybe a ladder? Another way. Oh! Oh! I can use objects to reach hard to get places? Does that mean- does it- Oh gosh, I'm going insane. Moonlight, safe- I- That works! <laughs> that was too easy! It just- it fell right into place just for me. Let's go. Sorry, my th my brain and my thought process is all over the place right now. I'm seeing things, I'm thinking things, I'm hearing. Th I'm not hearing things. That don't get concerned for me because I'm definitely I'm not. I'm. I mean, I can hear, but oh gosh, we have bigger concerns than my insanity and weirdness. Let's go. <laughs> uh, we're off to burn the chemicals. The chemi We're burning. Wait a second. It was through this door, right? Yeah, it was. Where is this? The refinery! Hi, refinery. I don't remember why we were going to the refinery. I- I- I forgot that part. I forgot the reasoning. Our purpose. But who needs purpose when you got acid? Yes. Melt. Burn. Wow, I feel complete. Hmm. I guess we could just end things off there. But we're not going to. And we would never do that. That would be that would be a waste. 
Daniel. I think we're gonna need your lantern. We're gonna get- what are, what's my juice looking like? My juice is looking fine. My juice is looking fine. Oh, we're having a flashback. It sure is dark in here. Yes, yeah, it is. And there's a good reason for it. Why? But you can light the lamp now if you wish. I can? Like this there's one? A reason for the darkness, that is. Stay close. Oh, I'm scared. Be careful not to stray. I'm what's scared. Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make straight? sure. Okay, not don't to stray. stray. But I want to stray. Okay, let's just go. I'm gonna I'm gonna sprint a little. Be careful when enemies are near crouching. I don't want do we have to do we have to I don't want to deal with enemies. Okay. okay I'm gonna I, I will light that up. That uh, there goes one of my tinder boxes. That might that's it's probably a waste. I'm nervous. Anytime it gives me messages that an enemy's nearby. I don't think clearly. I don't think clearly. I don't think clearly. I don't think clearly in these situations. What do I do? How do I not stray? It's still there. <laughs> Hello? Okay. I handled that quite well. I'm... <laughs> you didn't scare me. Oh, no issues here. Let's just... Uh, just a walk in the park. Please don't be there. Please don't be there. Oh gosh, okay, lantern. Lantern, there's a door. There's many doors. We'll go left first, because I'm left-handed. Left for lefties. There, no, no. Door open, not closed. And, uh... I would like to find some lantern juice. Here, we'll... Light that up. That might be a... Ooh, lantern juice? Yeah, lantern juice. There, oil. For a beautiful lantern. I want a tinder box. Tinder any tinder boxes? No? No? Come on, please give me more. I'm wasting them on pointless candles. I think that's all this room has to serve for us. For today. Let's go to the next one. Which the next room is this door. Oh, we push it instead of pull. That's very that's very different. Yes. What is that? Is that health? That's health stuff. Ooh, and a note. <gasps> that door was open. It's been more than a month since Daniel, my I'm last scared. entry. <laughs> After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert uh -huh. insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. Ooh. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. Why is that, I found Daniel? I journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. Oh, that's crazy. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Is that- is the complete orb that little- <gasps> The door! The door! The door! The door! The door! Okay. What is the orb he's talking about? That little, like, shiny object we saw last episode and that weird flashback thing where it was like, Well, follow the light. I want the light. Let me touch the light. Is that, is that what we're talking about here? Or are we, are we talking about something completely different? Block from the other side? Fine. Fine. As long as I don't waste my oil. Did we come through this door? We know it can- it all connects. Oh, we're going through here. Yes, I can put this away too. I'm surprised we haven't managed oil. Let's take the oil. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh wow, that filled it all the way up. Okay. You know, I won't use it yet if I don't need to be. Need to. The hatch is too heavy, heavy to lift by hand. Well, let's use something called science. Oh, it's okay. Something something is clogging the crank. We need to <laughs> And pull it. Okay, what do we need? I don't know. Maybe oil. Actually, I have no idea how to deal with that. Well, oh, the yeah, tinder box. I think that's all we need from this room for the time being. Is there still stuff? The barrel contains a few drops of oil, so we'll be able to get more when we need it. That's good. Now let's uh, go through this door over here, the one right in front of me. You know, the one we haven't gone through yet, because. I don't know. I don't know. We need to just go forward. The rope won't pull the hatch open. Something must be clogging the pulley. Hmm. Wow. 
Uh, fine. No, I'm not wasting tinder boxes. Not if I don't need to. Okay, come on, come on. What do I another note? The door closed on me. Something's knocking on the door. I feel the need to continue this journal. Yes, even Daniel, though it please was do. intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. Why is that? They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Daniel, I Yesterday, think you're on something. I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached mm -hmm. the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Hmm. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have other worlds. Oh, they definitely do. There's no way they don't. But I'm a little concerned about this uh, door that just... Both doors that just closed. Okay, fine, tinder box it is. Let's not waste this lantern anymore while I can relax a little next to this. Nicely lit candle. Thank you, candle. I'm so glad you were standing right behind me. Oh, another tinder box. That was worth it. Let me pick up the... It won't let me... There we go. There we go. Let's see how freaked out I am. I'm insane. <laughs> the sanity is really not there right now. There's still only a few cuts and bruises. We have lantern and we still have a chemistry pot. Cool. I don't know if I really need that. Kind of scared to op open up the doors. I don't know what I... Ooh, enemies. I don't know what I need to unclog the little pulley thing. Well, a lot of my headache could have been... <laughs> Could have been avoided if I simply I did a simple task that many of us do on a hard rough day. Look up towards the sky. Look at that. Look at look at that. Okay. Well, oh, it was that. Okay. There. Yeah. That's. I knew that was what was gonna happen. Now I should be unclogged. Come on. Please, 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 please. Okay. Yes. We're good. Now we can. Is it open? Now we can go even further down. I'm starting to think this isn't such a good idea. It's, wait, did I? I'll crouch. We're good. Ow! Can you not do that every single time? The wound is bleeding quite badly. Okay, so that really hurts. Fine. Fine. Two cuts and bruises. There. I'll just never step on those again if possible. Uh, that's the, well, who cares about getting hurt and injured by those weird things when noises like that are happening? Cellar archives! Okay. Oh my, did I, d don't, has this happened before and I didn't die then? I don't think I'm gonna die now. Oh, oh, now we're just where we imagined we're now walking in a pool of water. Maybe we, okay, onto the, what is that? What is that? No, we are not doing this right now. We are not, Ugh. <gasps> come on, we are not doing this right now. What's gonna eat me? Okay, we gotta go quick. We gotta go quick. We gotta go quick. Uh, come on, come on. But I don't know exactly where I'm going. This is terrible. Let's just go through th through this door. Through this door. Through this door. Hop, hop, hop. A skull. We don't need a skull. Uh, fetch. Oh, yes. Let's take that. Let's take that. That's gonna be nice. Do we have a, a candle for me to place? I'm kind of freaking out here. Uh, oh no. Oh. Uh, good thing I'm a parkour master. Oh, looks, I, I missed that jump. But I think we're gonna be just fine. Open a heavy gate, a heavy gate. What do I do about a heavy gate? Don't you, do I really have to find something else? Okay, where else is there for me to go? Let's just explore. I don't have much time. The more the more time I waste just sitting around, the more time uh, we don't <gasps> figure out where to go. Out of the water, stay out of the water. Hop. 
Up, up. Okay, what's in here? A lever! A lever. A lever. There. This has got to open the gate, right? And now I'm going to assume it's timed because games like this like to... Ow! Ow! Games like this like to make things timed. <gasps> it hurts! It hurts! It hurts! Get up. Get up. Ugh. Come on, come on. I hope... Yes, it was timed. It was timed. It was timed. How's my health? The wound is bleeding quite bad. Let's get more health. There we go. It's in here with us. Jump! Oh! Okay, lantern juice! Lantern juice! It doesn't matter what's in the water. We really needed that. We really needed that. Lantern juice. Uh... Um, oh, uh... I, I don't know where to go from here. Please tell me I can jump on that. Okay. Okay, I can. Where do we go? Where do we go? I don't have time to sit around and think. We just... How do we... How do I outrun this? Oh, okay, okay. We put that there. Okay, come on, just a little, a few more jumps. Please don't eat me. Oh, how do I get over there? Can I, can I grab that one? No, I can't. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't know how to... Oh, okay, maybe maybe that, that was our cue. Come on, it's eating, it's eating, it's eating, it's eating. I didn't know I could throw limbs. Oh. Ow, 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 it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. <gasps> Is it in here with me? Did I make it? I have one more of these. How am I not dead? I'm still... Okay, it's still bleeding quite badly. Or is it fixed now? No, it's still be bleeding. I think I closed it out on the other side, but I still don't... Nope, nope, I lied. It is on here. A hollow needle? What am I... I'm, I'm gonna stab it? Oh, please. It's locked... Okay, okay, okay. Needle? Needle? Yes. Here we go! I'm so... <laughs> I... <laughs> I hated that. I hated every single second of that. I wasted all my oil, all my health items. I don't... I have... I have no idea how I managed to survive, but I did. Oh, please no more of those. Don't ever put me in a high stress situation like that ever again. No, what did I just say? 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 What way, what way, what way? Oh, please. I'm second-guessing myself. Why? Why do I have to jinx everything? Push, push, push. Pull, 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 pull. Come on. <laughs> Just run. Just run. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care. Go, 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 go. <laughs> please, just let me get out of this alive. If I die, I'm going to be so upset. Pull, pull. I don't know if closing the door actually helps or not, but I'm doing it anyways because it feels like the right thing to do. It feels like the right thing to do. It feels like the right thing to do. Please go. <sighs> Amnesia, why? Why? Why must you make me suffer like this? This is not the type of... <laughs> I mean, this is exactly what I'm looking for in the game. I love it, but I also... I really just... I, I want... I just... That's a cool... That's a cool design. I just need to relax. Deep breaths. <sighs> oh. That's kind of... Uh, I know that door opened. That's creepy. But want to know what else is really creepy? It's like, whatever... It, it's a spine? There's a... Did you... There's... Look. It's a foot? And... Or legs? And then it's a spine. And a really weird looking face. And apparently I can grab the legs. Or just splash the water with my hands. Okay, that's kind of fun. Uh, well, I'll remember that later. I don't know why I'm splashing the water or why I can. Oh, a, a falcon or an eagle. I don't know. All birds look the same to me. A, a toucan. Study. Well, I'm not going in the study yet. Guest room. I'm not going in the guest room yet. I think we should probably go in the door that opened up for us. It was basically saying, oh, here, let me open. Oh, what is this? No, we're not doing that either. Close. Gun through this door. Don't get distracted. Brain, do do what you're told. <laughs> oh yes, I'll do what I'm told. 
Yes, I'm having a conversation with myself. Technically, in a sense, I'm recording a video. You have an so, room. I, take I us am. To the inner okay. It will okay. definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Can I go in there? I'm not gonna pull that just yet. Should I go check out these doors? It's gonna- No, it's locked. Machine door. Okay, room is locked. Maybe I should have messed- You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna mess with these doors. I'm gonna do it. I know I said I wasn't, but I'm gonna mess with these doors. I'm not gonna explore too far, and then we're going in the elevator. I can go in the study. I'm going in the study. Why not? Maybe I'll find something else in the study that I needed. There is too much to look around in the study. I don't- I'm pulling that lever. We're going back. <laughs> pulling the lever. Pulling the lever. Really? <laughs> Okay, never mind. We're gonna go find the key. Because, uh, find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. We're finding the key. But I, I actually want to go through... I want to... Go through this door. Where does this take us? What, what is this? What are you gonna be called? The storage room. We love storage- Sometimes people keep keys in storage rooms. This storage room seems a little spooky to me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. It's fine. Fine, we're gonna f I wrote something down. The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. This whole game feels strange and unnatural. But the- the- you're- you- the dark- The darkness does feel very strange. That is- that is not a lie. Anything from- Tinder boxes! Yeah! Ooh! What is that? The drill part? Okay, okay, let's not waste too much time. I only have a limited amount of oil, but I'm getting a lot of tinder boxes, so I could probably light some things up. <gasps> Am I gonna be okay? Do they know how to open doors? They. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, what do I do? 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 I'm going insane. I'm going insane. I hope I didn't turn that on too soon. It ate the door! <laughs> it ate the door! At least I know I can slow it down like that, but... Okay. Okay. Where did it... I don't know where it went. <laughs> I have no idea where it went in these rooms. Machine parts. We might need to go there. What is this? Equipment. We might need to go there too. We'll go. We'll go in the the equipment room first. Oh no, my my candle. I mean my lantern. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna really need to start lighting things up. And there's moonlight. I hope that's enough, though. Come on, come on, come on. Oil juice, oil juice. T that's a tinder box, not oil juice. Where in the world is oil juice? A, a drill. I found another drill part. Can I... Uh, can't assemble a drill. You need to find the part. all the parts first. Okay, so... That's fine. That shouldn't be too hard, but I would like oil. I don't so think I need time. to light anything up in this room. Oh! The darkness and the st did I- I wrote something else down. Maybe it was just another thing on the darkness. It will stand in light and then we're gonna go, uh... Wait. Where am I? <laughs> What's this room? There's too many doors. I don't do good when there's all these doors. I appreciate the tinder boxes. But I would like oil. I would really like oil. Can I? 
Yes! Yes! Now, where do I use the hand drill? Oh, I'm almost out of my lantern stuff. We need to find oil. Okay. Oh, I'm going insane. I'll light that up. Please, let me go! I won't tell anyone, I swear! I just want to go home! I'm sure you do! I just want to go home, too. No! Get away from me! Leave me alone! I won't budge, that's fine. Oh! Oh, awesome. Another tinderbox, though. Cool, not oil. Not oil. Machine parts, we can't go through there. Or can I climb it? Hmm. What notes do I have again? The rubble from the cave-in is hindering further passage in the storage room. Find a way to get through. Okay, that sounds, that sounds nice. The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. That's interesting. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. That's what I'm trying to do? Find the key that unlocks the door to the machine room. Oh, wait. Machine parts. Oh, someone's screaming. Hello? You need help? Oh! Oh, I didn't even look- I, sh I need to start looking up more. I mean, it's not gonna help much, but it's interesting to see that. But I think we're done for now with everything in, uh, the equipment room? Storage room? Whatever room we're in. What room was that? The storage room, yeah. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Storage room is creepy. I almost died in there. I never want to go through something like that ever again. And I want oil. I want it. I want- I need oil. Wait a second. A small carpet. I was gonna say, maybe I could drill. I don't know what I can use the drill on, okay? <laughs> I should have tried it on the door. Hold on. Can I try it on this door? No, I need a key for that door. Obviously, it's not gonna work when we need to find a key. Let's just go explore this room and see what I can find. Should I do this room up here? Guest room. Let's do the guest room. I like the guest room sounds more comfortable. We're technically kind of guests right now, right? Yeah, this 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 isn't as creepy. My journal's gone. What would they want with my journal? Yes, oil! Oil! Oh, I'm so happy. Ooh, and we can break one of these again. Yeah. Not the cockroaches. Oh, and a note for us. Bye, Ink. Anything else? Let's throw these things around by chair. Nope. Nope. Go back in. Nope. Oh, yeah! Health! 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office Algerian. disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. Huh. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. Werewolves? I don't know what to make of it. <laughs> I don't think so. But I'm worried for him. That was interesting. We have two more of those notes to find. Hopefully- oh, there goes that drawer. Hopefully some other- like maybe a key? I would like a key. Or maybe knowledge on what this drill is for. What in the- a crowbar? Am I gonna use the crowbar on the rocks? I mean, that sounds right. My phone just buzzed. Bzz, bzz. Let's- let's fill up my lantern. I like that. I wish I could organize. Though, I like organizing. 3rd of July. 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, Recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour 
Yeah. I continued reading the peculiar <clears throat> text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? That is very interesting. Yeah, I, I, my brain... It'll make sense when everything's explained to me and put together, okay? That's how my brain will work. <laughs> I just need more information and knowledge. Can I go... Can I pull a... a yes, my tinder box. Can I pull a Santa Claus? I could light that up. Would that do anything? Or would that just be a waste? I'm gonna say that would be a waste. Let's not do that. There's supposed to be another note. Maybe there was another door that I... That I'm ignoring. Oh! Oh, I, I clicked on the bed. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. That sounds uh, that sounds very suspicious and sketchy. This door. I don't think I went through this door. Nope. Nope. I think I went through that door. It's, it's the other door. Is it? Yeah, it's the, it's the other door I meant to go through. The one on the right, I think. <laughs> this door. Th this one right here. The door's stuck due to a broken lock. See, this is where my hand drill... Nope. This is where my crowbar... Yeah! 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 There we go. So much for the crowbar being used on the rocks, though. Oh, is this? <laughs> I thought it was a jar I could pick up. That's the key. Cool. I guess it is. That was easy. We'll click on the note in a second. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that worked. I just I saw the painting. The hand picked up, so I clicked it. The painting fell off. Then there was a jar. I thought the jar was gonna be some chemical thing, or like I was thinking it was a light bulb in a jar, or a jar bulb, a light jar. <laughs> oh, okay. and it was the key. Um, oh. There, there, I think I- Wait, what is that? Oh, I could hang myself. That sounded a lot worse than I meant it to come out. Please don't look in the cabinet. Please don't look in the cabinet. You don't know what to do, you're not gonna look in the cabinet, because if you do, then you're gonna be another- What runs the cabinet? What? Yeah, that that we're gonna live. Please leave. Can you hurry it up? Please. <laughs> I don't. I, I want to check. That sounds like it left. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little. I think we're good. I think we're good. Although I'm glad the 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 message that popped up said you have no way to defend yourself. Which might be hinting at possibly there will eventually, perhaps, be a way to defend myself. I would like that very much. It would make me feel safe. 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. Go. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow... I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. Woohoo! The ancient <laughs> stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too 
too strange. That is crazy, Daniel, but uh, you managed to do it. You also managed to make yourself forget that you did it. And for some reason, you're... No. No to taxidermy. I mean, if you want to do what you want, but the poor... I mean, I... <laughs> my heart. My heart. Let's just, uh... Oh, wait a second. Didn't I destroy this already? Hmm. Very suspicious. Although I think I got everything in it from this room because I got the key. Yes, that's right. I got the key. Why am I not being more excited for that? <laughs> Time to open. Wait a second. Is there an enemy? Why? Hold on. Was this always here? Was I'm taking this with me. No, I'm not. I'll throw it though. I don't remember that always being there. We'll deal with the study later. I don't want to explore it. I have no interest in exploring the study yet. For now, I'm going through the locked door key. The lock, the locked, the, using the key on the locked door. It's locked, haha, <laughs> well look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double click it and unlock it. Machine room, here I come. This looks like a cool place, but also, I'm, um, it's, Everything in this game makes me nervous. I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's making me nervous. Everything in life makes me nervous. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm pretty much always in a constant state. Oh, that's a lie. But a note. One second before I click on the note. Let me look around a little. Throw the box. Anything? No. Ooh, levers. That's gonna be fun. I think I should read the note before I mess with the levers though come on give me apparently i'm going insane i don't want to waste that though no time of july 1839 today i went to the university looking for answers i was able to sneak into herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. Okay. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. Oh. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling Oh, you definitely, somehow. you definitely were in a sense. It's not your fault, but in a sense, you were definitely, that, there's no way that he would have been killed if you didn't get involved in his life, so. Wait, is this back? No, we're going back down. Here. There's two other. There's two other notes together. We'll go through this door. I don't want to miss any goodies. There might be wonderful hidden surprises for me. I, ooh, what? No, that's just for looks, probably. Oh, I didn't mess with the. This says flow. That's right. We're trying to get the power on for the elevator. I didn't even mess with those levers. Okay, I'll click on the note, and then I'm running back up to mess with the lever. No, maybe I should just finish my way down, and then we'll run up and mess with the levers. I hope I don't forget. Oh, I have to read. Okay, I think my reading's gonna be a little better than last time. I think I'm feeling it more, you know? That could be a lie, though, so. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 the machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Okay, so there are two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery good to know. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner stu in the inner study rooms. We have to go to the study rooms. In case all three would crack again. So we're gonna have to go to the study rooms. Do I do I have any of them? No. No. Okay. Let's finish going down. There's still another note for us to find down here. There it is. 14th of July, 1839. Oh, there's... I've read every book I can find on the subject. We need a third one. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, 
I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is yeah. someone after me? Oh, I this is too Brennenburg confusing. And traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. <laughs> oh, I bet. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. <sighs> well, I doubt that worked. Okay, let's see, we got a lever here. The machinery needs uh, more work before it will run. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe I shouldn't... Okay, fine, I'll get this out real quick. There are missing cog wheels to be fitted. Ooh, was that was that cog room in that room? So was it really something? Okay, we're gonna have to go back for it. <laughs> I didn't think that was actually gonna be the case, but... Oh. Does it fit any of them? It fits that one. Is there another lantern here? There we go. That way I won't be going as insane. Let's go grab the other cog wheel. And then let me mess with those things on top and then we'll go through that door. Or actually, I'll go all the way up. I don't know, there's too many things to do right now. <laughs> I just don't want to go all the way up if I have to go all the way down, but I don't want to go all the way down if I have to go all the way up, you know? Fine. Am I gonna get a... <laughs> yes. I always have to choose the last one to be the right one. There we go. Does it work now? The, machi the machinery needs more work before it'll run. My eye's twitching. My right eye was twitching. This one right here. That's my right eye. I don't know where I am flipped camera wise in my videos, so that's my right eye. I don't. I don't know why you that is concerned. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice, but also concerning in some ways. Is there anything else in this room? But then the tinder box. That's fun. I like that one. Oh, can I pull this lever? Did I already pull this lever? There's nothing to be in the burner for, for it to ignite. Okay, we're gonna need to burn something? Hmm. Okay, for now, let's go. I'm gonna go mess with those... What was it called? I'm gonna go up to the first floor that I was on and mess with those little like pulley thingies. It might have been a lever, it might have not been a lever, I don't know. These, this thing right here, I'm gonna mess with this. I don't, I don't, pressure. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna matter at the moment. For now, let's go into that other room. I forgot what it was, was it was the study? Yes, we're going to the study. Okay, we have to find three things. I don't know what that really means, but we gotta find three things. <laughs> I- and possibly more. But at the very least, three things. <laughs> I don't want to miss anything, but also, I don't know. Oh, these rooms are gonna make life difficult. Three things, where would you be? A Bible? That could be nice. Everything we're going through. Oh, a note. Oh, I have to read this. Oh, I have to read this. Okay, again, I'm gonna break this up. If you're not interested, or one, read it yourself. Two, skip past it. I mean, I'm doing this for those who... I'm doing this for myself. <laughs> Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Jonah, Jonan, Jonan Weir. The most remarkable, bleh, the most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Helidromus described it in the Hortus 
conclusus. That is a word that I don't know of. Most of the, I don't, there's a big, there's a lot of words, okay? It was as it was told about an underground mytharic temple crowded with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color was washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibly, uh, impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was standing in a nearby village called Outstat, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went in inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Ooh. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby rav rav ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue sh shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned to charcoal black with the leaves of cinder, the grounds covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched lands as the glowing ember gave away to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as the pain and fear overtook me. I fell into the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside, uh, Genoa? The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still... Until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day and I still haven't been able to write about the instant. The time we spoke, uh, the, the last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mystic orbs and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. <sighs> your friend and mentor, Henrik Con Cornelius Agrippa. Agrippa. Wow. Okay, so there's a guardian for these orbs. Maybe that's why uh, Alexander was like, Daniel, I can protect you over here. That, that sounds like a possibility, right? We already went in that room, I think. Oh, I get lost. That was, I think I did pretty good on the reading there. You're welcome. I tried. I tried really hard. And I warmed myself up a little more for this video. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And I felt a little more like, yeah. I think, uh, I think I struggled more last time. Oh no. Okay, this is a quick read. I struggled more last time because it was like my first video. Not first video, first long video in a while. I think I was overthinking. I still overthink it, but getting distracted. Let me, <coughs> let me get some water. Animal experiments. Uh, Canis lupus familiarius. I, bleh. 1658, April 12th. After a short study in it, in it is... After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endog endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense... Sense it. It reeks of cosmic genus. Genesis. Genus? Genesis? Genesis? Uh. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process to, uh, of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount of... Uh, produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. That's, that's nice. Can we not experiment on animals or people? I kind of like that idea. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. 
I don't know if I need to hear all these noises. What a mess. I should have sharpened the saw, but I can sense it. It's yeah, definitely there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we needed this extra bits of. Ooh, tinderbox. Extra bits of information. I'm starting to second guess my decision and my choices and my whole experiences of life. You know what? Uh, I'm going to read this last note and we'll see what we'll do from there. Anatomy. I think that says anatomy. An economy. An an that's, there's a word. It doesn't matter. 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly, humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Okay, I know I... Let me just try and find a good stopping point. We're reaching about an hour in the video, so it's a good time to end it, but I would like to have a little bit more of an idea of what I'm going to do next episode before I end it. Okay, I was gonna hold, grab the bird, but we're not we're not doing that anymore. Okay, not this way. So it's good it's good that I finished off me here. Find another way around the rubble to the study. But I think I'm gonna have to find like a hidden passageway. What is that? Why don't you dare? Right? That is don't why would you do that? The cracks window panels are being held together by a weak wooden fr Oh! Oil! Actually this is wonderful. Okay, let's grab a chair. Let's grab a chair, let's grab a chair, and we're going to wait until next episode to do that. Watch it not work. That's going to be really tragic if it doesn't break. But yeah, that's the end of episode two, part two of Amnesia the Dark Descent. I am glad, okay, first episode, I, I, my, I, again, I was a little not there. I felt much better recording this one. I was fun, I was more into it, and uh, my readings, did you see that? I, I read, still not top notch, but I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> Oh. Anyways, with all that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.